Gracias. This is just what I needed to refresh myself. Mm -hmm. Tu novio. Ah, after I established that you were mine, you left. <gasps> he got off his Pinche cabron, how can't you see he's lying to you? He killed him. Don't let him deceive you. Just look over the balcony. No, he's not right for you. Don't go with him. Ay, Dios mío. Como puede ser tan estúpido? It's just because he has a pretty face. Mark my words, Santiago. You'll get what's coming to you. The height from this balcony is enough to make anyone feel ill. You shouldn't let yourself peer down from such a distance. Come. It's quiet. The night is getting cold. Too quiet. By now, I would have been interrupted by a certain gatito who was made to annoy me. They couldn't have left. They would have told me. And I would have heard them. Which means they're up to something. They're never this quiet. Gatito! If you're taking a cat nap, might as well do it down here with me. Not that I'm saying that I want you with me. I just know you won't get much sun if you're upstairs. Sons are what make catnaps, you know. Gatito? Are you ignoring me? I didn't know you were trying new annoyance tactics today, and here I am trying to be nice for once. Listen, Gatito, this new annoyance tactic of yours is working, but I also know that you don't have a life without me, so you're going to bore yourself quickly by ignoring me and pretending that you don't why does it sound like someone is in the room with them? I know no one is here. Gatito! What the hell? Please translate out loud. What are you doing? Tap the mic to begin. I think I'm the one that should be asking you that, Gatito. Lo siento. That is not correct. The correct answer is... ¿Qué estás haciendo? Well, Gatito, what are you doing, huh? You know it's rude to reply to someone's question with another question, but I'm going to answer it anyway. I'm in your room because I had to make sure you were alive since you didn't respond to me calling out to you at least a hundred times. Apology not accepted. I can see that you were busy, but you should have heard me over that thing. You're trying to learn Spanish. Really? I couldn't tell from that thing you call a Spanish teacher. Do you hear her accent? That's not a Spanish speaker. Couldn't you have found someone that at least sounds like they know what they're doing? Of course you think her accent is good. It's because you don't know Spanish. Why do you want to learn Spanish anyway? Haven't we been through how hard the language is? I know enough Spanish for the both of us. You don't need to learn. You know where we live, right? Unless you're planning on leaving the country to go somewhere where you need to learn Spanish, no, you don't need to. Were you planning on going somewhere and not bringing me along? Huh, Gatito? Is that why you're hiding this? <laughs> oh, is that it? You don't need to know what I'm saying to you. I say the same thing to you in English as I do in Spanish. If you really want to know, it's always on the lines of how stubborn and irritating you are. You don't believe me? Why would I ever lie about that, Gatito? No puedo dejarte saber cómo me siento. Esta es la única forma en que puedo ser honesto. I said that it's easier for me to say things in Spanish, and with how long we've lived together, you should be able to trust me. You aren't going to let this go, are you? Even if I tell you it's not worth learning Spanish, you're just going to go behind my back to learn it anyway, huh? I don't think that. I know that. I know how stubborn you are, especially when you have your mind set on something. <sighs> Fine. You want to learn Spanish? Then do me a favor and let me teach you. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to teach you, but I'd rather be the one teaching you so I don't have to hear you learning it wrong. I think that'll be more painful. Yeah, you heard me right. I'll teach you. 
Watch it. Are you trying to suffocate me? I thought you wanted to learn Spanish, and this is how you thank me? You're hugging me? You're bad at it. Really bad. Deberías practicar más conmigo. Nothing. I have a novela to finish. Class will be in session tomorrow, which means you don't need to keep around any apps. Are you there? Continue your lesson now. Cállate! Wow, gatito. That's really amazing how bad you are at Spanish. I wouldn't count what you're doing as learning. You can't even get a proper R roll in. Yes, it's vital. How is anyone supposed to understand you if you're saying, El perro está corriendo en la calle. That sounds fine to you? Of course it does. It means that this is a hopeless venture. It's going nowhere. Ha, <laughs> you're wrong. It's not because of how I'm teaching you. It's because of how you're learning or not learning. I'm the best teacher you're going to find, Gatito. Not only have I grown up speaking Spanish, I'm the only one that can give you 24-7 practice without an eventual paywall. Unless you count baking more as a paywall. I'm telling you as someone who truly and deeply tolerates you that maybe Spanish isn't for you. How about trying another language first? Italian, French maybe. Yeah, that's not going to happen. I'm not just going to translate what I say to you all the time. I already do it more than I want to. As much as I think you should give up Spanish, I'd rather spend the rest of my nine lives trying to teach you than come with an automatic translator. It'll take too much of my precious nap time. Sure, trying to teach you Spanish will take longer, but... You know what? That's not the point. Forget I said anything. Quiero pasar todo mi tiempo contigo. I said, are you going to conjugate these verbs or not? All right, that's enough for today. If I hear any more of your attempts at pronunciation, I'm going to be forced to speak purely in Spanish just to assure that the audio poison didn't infiltrate my brain. Yeah, it was that bad. Lindo, pero muy, muy malo. I said really, really bad. Anyway, now that that's over, what do you want to eat for? Ugh. Gatito, you can't learn an entire language in a day. Enough is enough. We'll start up again tomorrow. It feels like I didn't teach you any real Spanish because we're starting with the basics of the basics. It's clear that you need them. It's laying the foundation. We'll get to building conversations later. You don't teach toddlers how to keep a conversation, do you? No. You teach them the letters and words. Gatito, why am I going to teach you phrases you don't know how to put together yourself, much less even translate? Okay, okay, fine. Stop with the pleases already. I'll teach you one, and that's it, all right? One, repeat after me. Andres, tú eres el único con el que quiero pasar tiempo. Too long. Uh, you see why I didn't want to teach you any phrases? Fine. How about... Andres, tú eres el único que quiero. <clears throat> Good. That was almost Spanish. Now don't go around saying that to anyone. This is just between you and me. Because I'm your only Spanish teacher. You're basically saying thank you for taking the time to teach you Spanish, even if you're hopeless. What would I say back to that? I would say, Gatito, no quiero nadie más que ti.